I built a simple contacts app recently with Angular Signals and Firebase and discovered that I didn't actually need to use any RxJS at all. The app does everything that a typical CRUD app should do. So this got me thinking, with Signals, do we even need RxJS anymore? As with most things in life, the short answer is, it depends. Let me first give you a quick rundown of my app. So my app has basically two components, the contacts list and the add contact form. Then I have the contact service, which basically encapsulates all of the data operations for the app. So at the component level, I've exclusively used signals to show data in the template. And then the service basically just updates the signal for different operations. So at the component level, we are not using RxJS at all. There's no async pipe. There's no observable because we don't need it anymore. But at the service level, we'll make API calls to fetch data and may need RxJS and observables. This is especially needed because network calls are asynchronous and signals are meant for only synchronous reactivity. But even here, do we really need it? Turns out if you're integrating with Firebase and either using the JS SDK or even Angular Fire version 7 onwards, you'll notice it has a promise-based API for most of its operations, along with some convenience functions which output observables. So if you just use the promise-based API functions for data operations, you don't actually need RxJS anymore, at least for API calls. So in my case, my contact service has a fetch contacts function, which gets the contacts and sets our signal to the new value. And whenever we add or delete the contact with Firebase, we just call this fetch function again, which refreshes the signal and thus the UI. So in case of Firebase, the verdict is out and it is a resounding yes. You can very well create a fully functional Angular app without using any RxJS at all. And this is good news for all those beginners who always find RxJS a bit difficult to grasp, at least in the beginning of their Angular journey. But when you're not using Firebase and end up using some other REST API, you'll likely want to use the HTTP client module in Angular, which uses an RxJS based API. And then you'll want to somehow convert your data from your observable to a signal. So a simple way in our case um, would be something like this. So you have your HTTP client, you're using the get function, you subscribe to it, and then you set the contacts signal to the value that you get from there. But Angular has also provided an RxJS interop package. Now released in version 16, this provides for functions like to signal and to observable. They're meant to convert an observable to a signal and vice versa. But that is perhaps a topic of another video. For now, I can just relish the fact that Angular has come a long way with the version release and things are getting more and more simple for new developers. Yay! I hope you found it a bit useful. Do subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching.